Damn, I'm looking at two fights at the same time, man. Showtime over there in the zone down there. Listen, we're going to make it happen at the end of the day. I got some videos coming out on Charlo versus Adams, man. I got Adams beating this boy, man. It's exposing time. At the end of the day, we in the second round of Selecki versus my boy, Andrade. So, we're going to focus on... Uh, on the last 50 seconds of the Charlo fight because it's the uh, third round and they resting right now. So again, Charlo is being outworked by Adams and that left over the top hook is there all night. Adams is playing with him, man. Adams is ready, man. I told you guys, you guys were sleeping on Adams, man. You feel what I'm saying? Can you guys tell me where's the jab from Charlo? I'm going to keep saying it. Yeah, where's the jab? All you see is him loading up on his shots. I'm telling you, man, both Charlos think alike, man. I don't care who training them, man. My boy is taking this boy into the deep water. Point blank period. 16 seconds left in the ninth round. I got my boy Adam winning seven rounds to two. Who you got? What you got? This is what I want to know. But this video is about my boy Andrade and Selecki. They about to come out the ring. Third round. What's shaking? What's good? Man, hate when two fights is on at the same time. So here we go. You got my boy Andrade in the middle of the ring, showboating a little bit. Again, uh, Selecki, again, I told you, good footwork. He's got fast hands, and he looked like he's fighting on the back foot. He wants to work the ring side to side. He don't want to get too close to um my boy. Uh, ooh, good shot by Adams. You don't want to get too close to Andrade because of the power. And Andrade does have fast hands, too, if you didn't know. Just keep watching. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, I got my boy winning. Andrade, that is. But I'm telling you, Selecki going to push this boy. Watch by the ninth round. You're going to see some different things here. But, you know, in order for that to happen, Selecki's going to have to come in the inside. But it all works. Starts from the outside. Shoot the jab. Use angles. Get close. You see what I'm saying? It's like you're doing right now. And But what I see a mistake is he's trying to get close, but it looks like he's collapsing inside to try to make it like a inside fight in the middle of the ring, that's not going to happen, playboy. Shoot your jab and use angles. Don't worry about getting inside. You see how he's switching his feet over to the next? I don't like that. And if if my boy um, Andrade is as smart as I think he is, he should watch that. And every time he do it, if Selecki does that again, all you have to do is time it and you shoot your shot, you're going to land because he's stuck in the mud with his feet. Let me know if you see that little slide, slide step he's making to get in the inside. You understand me? Like when he goes side to side, he pivots on his left and he slides his right foot. That's easy work right there. But oh, look at the Charlo fight versus my boy Adams, man. Adams still digging deep, taking him to the ropes, man. Damn, I want to focus on one fight than the other, man. Charlo was missing every heavy shot he's shooting, B. Over the shot. Yeah, take a point from that dude, man. Take a point. Listen, so Lucky is moving his feet. But he's not close to my boy Andrade to be effective in any type of way. And that's because of the long arms of Andrade. You see what I'm saying? And again, like I told you guys, Andrade know how to use his height and his length. And he used it to his advantage. Listen, if you want to get in the inside, you're going to have to deal with these hands. You see what I'm saying? And so Lucky going to have to make a choice by the fifth round. Get in the inside so you can land something. Yeah, you're going to eat something, but at least you'll be in the fight. You think what I'm saying? A lot of guys on YouTube like, yo, CBT, you tripping, man. Slucky ain't got nothing for Andrade. And I believe Andrade going to win, but I'm guaranteeing you. Watch that. Watch the ninth round. I'm guaranteeing you this. Point blank period because Andrade got a, uh, he always gasses out. You understand me? And he usually gets stuck in the mud by the ninth, tenth round. Like, if oh, good shot. Oh, ooh, ooh, my boy going hand right now. Andrade, he's taking over, man. This is what I'm saying. Andrade do this type of thing. He starts to get bored. Then he says, you know what? I'm going inside. You see those power shots he was shooting? That's what's going to happen in the ninth, tenth round. And that's when Salucky can do some things. But you can't wait for that. You dig what I'm saying? Okay, so that round is over. Let's get back to the Charlo fight. That's more entertaining right now for me. You see what I'm saying? Because Charlo's getting exposed. It's going to be a robbery tonight. I'm telling you, man. But everybody in the stance, everybody in Houston know, everybody in Houston know that Charlo do not look good tonight. He does, he's not dominating. And sometimes that's the pressure of being home, man. Everybody talk about they want a homecoming fight, man. Listen, it's difficult fighting at home, man, in front of your family and friends and people supporting you. You're trying to do things that you, you shouldn't be doing. Maybe that's the reason why he's loading up on his shots. I've seen Charlo, Charlo shoot jabs before, but it's nothing but powerful hooks, powerful uh, body shots, and he's missing everything. I want 
Adam to be easy and stick to the game plan. Move, 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 jab, and avoid the power shots because there's no setup shots. There's no jab. There's nothing else but power shots. And stay off those damn ropes. But I got my boy Adams winning this one. So that round is over and this round begins. My boy Andre went to the body in the middle of the ring. So lucky shoot the jab out. He double pumped it. Okay, so lucky. I need you to keep shooting that jab and keep moving side to side. You're going to have to get in the inside. I think maybe it's about time he getting the inside now. You understand me? Uh, look, sometimes you got to take a punch to, you know, give up, you know, take a punch to give a punch. You dig what I'm saying? And I know that's the part. I listen, I don't want to give you that advice, actually, because you're dealing with uh, Andre. I mean, Andre got the heavy hands. But I just want Lucky to get in the inside so he can see that he's the faster man in the inside. That's my point, guys. But delete what I just said as far as just getting inside. Nah, I don't mean that. But I just know Lucky getting inside, his hands will move. So Lucky is actually fighting the fight that I thought he would from the outside. Andre is fighting the fight that I thought he would fight. Stay in the middle of the ring. You know, shoot your jabs. Pot shot and wait for Slucky to get in the inside. That's why some people say, you know, Andrade is boring. But you're going to get spurts of energy, spurts of heavy shots from Andrade because he gets bored. I'm telling you, man. I'm looking at both fights and I keep looking at the Charlo, this TV, because Charlo got the one hit to quit it. You see what I'm saying? And it's always, it always go down like this. My guy, you dig? Usually is up on the on the on the scorecards. He's looking good, and then one shot just knocks him out. Everything he did up into the tenth round will be diminished, man. You see what I'm saying? I don't want to miss it, B. You heard? At the end of the day, uh, the Salucky fight is looking normal, simple, easy. Nothing spectacular is going on. Andra shooting jab. Salucky is shooting the jab. Nothing. No action is really going on here, man. You know, I do. I will say this. This is what I will say before I get off here, because I really got to get, and I got to sit down and watch this thing. Andre, in order to be a superstar, needs to be dominant, needs to exert his jab. He needs to exert his dominance, exert his size, and dominate Lucky. And anybody else that's coming in that ring with him. Because people come for knockouts. People come for excitement. Yeah, you can beat anybody on a back toe. Yeah, you can beat, you know, majority of the... Oh, good shot. Oh, good body shots. As I say that. As I say that. My boy going to the body. Heavy. Good God. Woo. That's what I'm saying. But we get spurts of that with my boy Andra. You see what I'm saying? We get spurts of that. Body shots. Over the top rights. We need that early on, baby boy. You feel me? So we are watching the Charlo versus at Adam's fight. And Adam got him backed up against the ropes and going to the body. Charlo is fighting good off the ropes. He's comfortable on the ropes, Charlo is, because he got good defense on it. He's a big guy. He's able to uh, cover up. But it doesn't look good for the judges. Um, you see what I'm saying? The aggressive guy is Adam. But Charlo is landing on the ropes. Hitting a, he hit Adam with a good one, too. See? Get away from Charlo Adams. Come on, baby boy. What you doing? You're taking too many hooks. This round is all uh, Charlo. It's 11th round. All Charlo round right here, play, playboy. You understand yeah, that me? was a good shot right there, play. You seen that hook? But, I, again, I think Charlo is just stationary, man. Flat-footed, man. No jab, man. No ring IQ, man. He don't set up his shots, man. This kid don't got... He's not ready for the Canelo and Triple G's. I don't understand why Triple G is not watching this dude and saying, this is easy, man. Imagine Triple G pushing this kid back. Imagine Charlo trying to load up on his shots. You see what I'm saying? Throwing hooks from, throwing hooks from Jamaica. Throwing, throwing uppercuts from Africa. Nah, man. He don't set up his shots, man. Canelo beats him easy and Triple G will destroy him, B. Listen, so again... We had the Andre Sele Andre Selecki, uh, and I'm sorry for keep going back and forth, people. But this supposed to this is just crazy, man. Watching both fights, my thoughts is over there. Then I'm watching over here. Then when I start talking over here. I start stuttering over there. You dig what I'm saying? But it is what it is, man. You know what it is. So it looks like Adam is gonna take Charlo into the 12th round. I know this is a goddamn Selecki versus my boy Andre uh, video, but I'm this is more entertaining to me. And but being that. Adam is taking Charlo into the 12th round. What does that say about Charlo? Or are we going to just say Adam is just a tough dude? Nah, man. Charlo looked bad tonight, playboy, man. And he and if this goes to the scorecards, it's going to be a robbery. But we all know Adam won, man. Point blank, period. This would be two fights that Charlo lost 
It's according to the people, the fans that watch the fights. You see what I'm saying? But Adam did his thing tonight, people. You rocking with your boy CBT. I got to get up off this thing. I'm going to give you a full video of the Andrade versus Selucky, man. But right now, my mind is all over the place. Holla at your boy. Subscribe. Come back my day. Went to the bar and came back. I'm telling you, put hands in the face.